Hey cute people, if you see from the title that I am so excited, and hopefully you guys are excited with me or excited for me because Ulta has come to a town near me, yes. Now I purchase from Ulta online and sometimes I go to another town and I'll shop there. If I'm there, then I'll always stop in Ulta. But now Ulta is like 20 minutes from me, which is a blessing and will be a curse, but I'm gonna work through it. But I did stop in there today and let me tell you, I thought they were gonna open up another week or two from now, but I happened to go to well, I happened to go through the parking lot just to see if they had a sign up as to when they would be opening. But much to my surprise, it says Ulta open now. So I was like, hey, just what I need right now. Have some fun. Do some retail therapy with some cosmetics that I will be wearing that I better wear because like I told you guys before, I don't wear makeup like I used to. And I really don't purchase makeup. Yes, I do. Okay. I won't lie. But I bought some things that I was really interested in. But one thing that I will always do whenever I go into an Ulta, I always look at their brand because they always have that sale. Buy two, get one free, or buy three and get two free. And of course, you know, I always get three so I can get two for free. So there's some things that I picked up. But this I want to show you because I purchased this before. And when I ran out, I was so heartbroken because, like I said, I don't get to Ulta too often. And when I ordered online, I could never find anything that I really wanted to justify paying either eight or nine dollars for the pen this pencil. I forgot how much it costs. But anyway, this is the Ultra Slim Brow Pencil and I have the color in dark brown. I love this pencil. But this pencil I really, really love. I have it in the color dark brown. You see it right there, I think you can see it. And this is what it looks like. And I love it for this little um, spoolie here. And it is one of those pencils that you, okay. So I love it. I really, really like it. Um, If you ask me, are there differences between pencils? Yes, it is. Because someone else could say dark brown, but the color may be more of a cocoa-ish brown maybe with a tint of dark in it or something but this one to me for me is perfect i love it love it love it and i don't purchase a lot of eyeliners for me when it comes to eyeliners i always buy one i use one when it dries up or i'm ready to get another one i'll throw that one away and then i'll use my next one so I just wanted to try something a little different because I don't pay this much money for eyeliners. I think this one here was about eight or nine dollars, I think. And I don't pay that much for eyeliner. But I did want to try it. And this is the Ulta Beauty Classic Felt Tip Liner. And I got it in the color black. Yeah. And this is what the tip looks like. And I really needed something really fine because I like a thin line. Um, on my top lash so I got that right and then I don't know why I got this because I just purchased a few um, foundations and I mentioned to you guys I don't wear makeup like I used to so tell me tell me why did I need to purchase another foundation I don't know but why I purchased this is because I've never had a cream foundation before so I end up getting this I to like it knock y'all in the head but i end up getting this and this here is one of the darkest two colors that they have this one i have here is deep warm and then they had um deep cool that's it this is the darkest so i don't know i'm gonna try it if i like it i'll keep it if not it goes up back to the store and then I saw this on a display and I got so excited. I was like, I got to have this. A Demi Matte Foundation. Yeah, it's an Ulta brand. This is also Warm Deep. The other dark color they had was Cool Deep. So I got this. And um, one good thing about going today, because it was their first day opening, a lot of their testers weren't even open yet. So that was good for me. I just cracked that plastic. If you heard and when you open a lot of them still had that little silver tab 
So I was able to test this out on my hand and on my face. On my hand is, I don't know, but on my face it seemed like it um, looked okay. So I said I'll get it and then I can try it and then go out in the sunlight, which is what I like to do so I can tell whether or not this is my color. Now here it appears to be a whole lot lighter than it actually is. So I'll see what it's like when I'm outdoors. This here I purchased because the color, I don't know if you can see. It's more like a bronzy color, but it's coming up maybe like rose goldish here. I don't know because of the light. But I got this, and I don't know why it's the liquid illuminate, illuminator. This is beaming light, vitamin E, sunflower seed oil, and paraben free. I got this, and I have another one that I haven't even used yet. I may have hauled it in a video. Let me see. Yeah, I think that looks kind of what it looks like, I think. But I saw this and I had never seen this color before. I think there's like five different shades. I saw this, I said, oh, I have to get it. You can wear this by yourself or under or over makeup. So I'm going to try that. And then wherever I go, if they sell cosmetics and they sell Urban Decay, I'm definitely going to be looking. So I went over to Urban Decay and I saw this. I hadn't seen this. I haven't been watching YouTube videos because I know... There's um, some videos on this, and this is, of course, the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat. And it wasn't too expensive. That's why I got it. This, I remember, was $29. And then I get the 20% off because they had 20% off today. And I believe they will um, up until next week, I think. That's what I was told. But, I, but Urban Decay is just one of my favorite companies for eyeshadows because I really haven't purchased anything else from them much. But when I see something eyeshadow palette that attracts me, I try to get it. So I got this and this is what it looks like. Isn't that cute and pretty? Yes, 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 Ulta. I'm so glad you came near me, Ulta. And also, Urban Decay, you kill it always. But this is what the Urban Decay palette looks like. And you really can't see it much because my light is probably washing it out. But when I saw those la those three colors right there, I was like, oh my gosh, I got to have this palette. I, I got to have it A and B. I got to use it. What's the sense of buying this stuff? If I'm not going to use it, I know... Um, Someone on one of my whole videos said, okay, now show us a look. I'd like to see a look. And I wish that I could, but the way my setup is, is so, if you see how I'm set up right now, you'd be like, okay, because I feel like I'm holding myself together with um, scotch tape, a piece of tape here, a piece of tape there, a piece of tape here. It's just, I don't know. But I really would like to play around with um, makeup on camera, and maybe one day I'll be able to. Now, this here, I had seen someone, well, of course, I see many, many reviews on, um, yes, honey, I see many, many reviews on um, YouTube, and I wish I could remember the young lady who I watched her video, she did a tutorial, the look was gorgeous. This is the Morphe 3502, and I have wanted this palette, but I said, I don't really need it. I try to talk myself out of getting things, and if Ulta hadn't come to my town, I probably never would have gotten this. I did watch for it online quite a bit. You know, I go to Ulta and look at it, or I'll go to the Morphe website and I'll look at it, or I'll look at some YouTube videos and I'll stare at it, but 20% off, I went and got it, and one of the young ladies, I'm not sure, why did I even... Go to Morphe. I'm not sure. Oh, one of the young ladies there, she had on an eyeshadow I thought was really, really pretty. She told me, oh, it's Morphe. Now show, show me what palette. It wasn't this one. It was a 35R, I believe, which I'm going to keep that on my um, want list. But this is the palette. And these colors are so, I mean, these colors are gorgeous. I don't want to blind you guys, so how can I kind of show this to you without blinding you much? Okay, so this is the palette. You see the um, sheet on top to kind of protect the shades, which I think I will keep. But this palette is gorgeous. Look at those shades. Oh, my goodness. And then, you know, I, um, of course, sampled some of them, you know, um, not, well, I sampled some of the Morphe palette shades. 
and their shades are so buttery, buttery, buttery soft. So I got that. And I was in this Ulta, I'm gonna tell you, maybe for like two hours. I was in there for quite a long time. I had to kick myself out because I was like, I got to go. I've been here too long. And I didn't even want to leave. But I found a lot of great stuff. And I've been looking for a blush. Really like a purple blush. And I cannot find I know Mac had one, but I didn't get it. And I was so sad that I didn't. But um every time I go to a store and I tell the um advisor, the beauty advisor or wherever I am, what I'm looking for. They can never find what I'm looking for. I'll tell them I'm looking for something that's not burgundy or wine or Bordeaux, but purple. You know what purple is, right? Purple. So I give the girl a lip gloss close to what I'm looking for. She goes off, she searches, she's looking, she comes back. Oh, Mac has something with you. No, they don't. No, they don't. But I still went to the Mac um section. Yeah, you got to stop at MAC no matter where you are. And I did get this. This is Desert Rose. Let me see. And I told her, I said, I wasn't really interested in it. But I said, you know what? Apply it on me and I'll go from there. She put it on me and I really, I think, okay, there it is. And I really liked how it looks. So I got Desert Rose. And don't be scared of the colors, ladies, if you see it. Because it's really pretty. So I ended up getting it. Now, I had seen this around town. But I said, no, I'm not going to get it. But I saw a video that New New the Hair Diva did. And I said, you know what? I may as well go ahead and get it because I want it. So I went on and got Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And let me tell you something. If I don't start wearing this makeup the rest of this year, I won't buy any more next year. And I need to stop telling that lie. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. See how pretty? Back it up. Back it up. Isn't that pretty? So you shake it. And shake it and I got the gold light I don't remember offhand how many other shades I think there's two other shades but I got gold light I think this would be perfect so I can't wait to wear this tomorrow I'm stepping out of the house and I think I will just wear this maybe just by itself there's nothing else because I'm not going far but at least I'll be able to, you know, um, try it out and see if it's something that I like. Okay, so that's what I got from Mac. And I tell you, when you get those 20% off coupons from Ulta, use them. Because they haven't quite often. At least I get them. Because like I said, I'm platinum. And they think that I'm going to be spending $450 this year to be platinum again. Next year, I don't think so. Not at all. And I also got this hair, but I didn't get it for myself. I got it for someone. This hair, um, the Body Shops, come back here. Let's see how much you can see. The Body Shops Vitamin C Glow Protect Lotion. Um, it has SPF 30 sunscreen, and it has its vitamin C. And I also got the um, Vitamin C glow revealing liquid pill and like i said this is for someone else that i thought would be able to use it and would like it and let me just say that on ulta which probably with all the makeup just know that in ulta's website or in store these products cost more if i had went to the body shop i would have gotten it cheaper but you know you get excited when you're in a store and it's all pretty and new so you just buy stuff like um you ain't got no sense now i did stop at the um Clinique counter because every five minutes someone was there. Do you need help? Do you need help? So every time someone would ask me that and get on my nerves and um, stop me from enjoying my shopping excursion, yeah, I'll make them work. So yes, I will. Yeah, you know what I'm looking for? But I'm not really looking for it. Just since you want to bother me, show me something that I know is way going up. I know that ain't right. Okay. Well, anyway, so I asked the young lady, because what I'm interested in now as far as taking off makeup is the oil cleansing system. You know, you use an oil to clean your face or a, clean, or a cream cleanser. 
I'm not sure how the system goes right now. I did look it up before, but I can't recall because, again, I'm over 50 years old. So anyway, um, she took me over to Clinique. I was going to get some items from Clinique. She helped me with some things. But then I decided when I got to check out, I really, really wasn't sold on it. My heart wasn't set on it. I don't have any Clinique. But um, I did want to try some of their foundations. So these I'm going to try. Okay. This light is so bright. You can't see much of anything. But these are, this is from the um, Even Better Glow. And they both, of course, well, it's SPF 15. And one shade is clove and the other one is amber. So the young lady fixed me up one. So I'm going to try these soon too because I'm curious about the foundations. And one of these she put on me. I can't remember which one now. I wish she would have put some kind of indication. It looked beautiful it was really really pretty it looked like i didn't even have anything on my skin which is the look i love and the look i'm always going for but let me tell you that's all i got from ulta on this trip yeah and there won't be any other trips anytime real soon but i'm gonna tell you i was so excited and so happy that ulta has come to a town near me so yeah I will be at that location quite often. And like I said, all the people, they were really nice. So, you know, I got to um, get in with somebody there so they could tell me what was a good time to come pick up some new things or when new things are coming to the store that I don't need to purchase. But anyway, um, that's what I purchased at Ulta. Again, I am excited that Ulta is near me. So, yeah. And another thing, too, I've never been to a Ross dress for less and ross is coming also to that location so hopefully they'll be opening up real soon five below is there um hobby lobby and they'll probably have some other stores there because i see they're still building so hopefully they'll get some stores that are excited one store i would love to see there um like torrid or, or lane bryant that would be perfect yeah but anyway listen I got to go. It is now Saturday morning, about two o'clock-ish. And I had stopped this. I had stopped watching Good Times on TV One to complete the video. So now I'm going to go back and watch um, Good Times while I put all this stuff away, and clean up my junk and break down my um, filming station. <laughs> so listen, I just want to say thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. And I hope that I see you in the next one. And I want you guys to share and spread love. Bye-bye.